wet age-related macular degeneration, wet AMD, and acute presentation. So wet AMD is a chronic progressive condition characterized by abnormal blood vessel growth beneath the retina. And these new vessels known as choroidal neovascular membranes are fragile and prone to leakage. And that can then cause fluid, fluid accumulation and bleeding in the macula, the central area of the retina. And that area is responsible for that sharp central vision. And so a new diagnosis of wet AMD often presents with symptoms, say, distortion, which we would call metamorphopsia, sudden central vision loss, or a blind spot in the central visual field. And early recognition is important because literature and evidence shows that earlier treatment leads to better outcomes. Now, we're going to do the fundus examination very shortly, but an acute macular bleed in the context of wet AMD is significant because it indicates recent rupture or leakage from these fragile neovascular membranes. And this can lead to a rapid deterioration of the central vision and may cause scarring of the macula if left untreated. And if I asked you, well, if we see a macular hemorrhage or bleeding at the macula and new symptoms, yes, we've got our slit limb examination. Yes, it's highly suggestive of a new diagnosis of wet AMD, especially if the patient is older. But the key to making the diagnosis and even classifying the diagnosis, the extent of the disease and the prognosis is we need our OCT and even an OCTA to assess the choroidal neovascular membrane. So I hope you found this video useful. And remember, even though we all love slit lamp and the slit lamp's the best, we sometimes need other imaging modalities too.